Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Now in the last episode, I finally found a dungeon door and I didn't even get my pog in the last episode. I do apologize, but there we go. We now have four pogs in total. That is not bad. And we're going to go in here now and I need to spend my two skill points, which I think I'm going to go into some things that I didn't really think I was going to. One of which is going to be witchery because that gives me uh, a chance of getting extra uh, soul shards as long as my mana is above 80%. And speaking of mana, in extra mana regeneration while at full health, uh, I think that is the one that I wanted to take. And let me just double check. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think that is pretty good. I mean, I can always regret them anyway if I decide not to have them. Now, moving on in the quest line, we have reached the Plunderous Pearl. As you level up, the vaults get more difficult as everything inside a vault scales. This can sometimes lead to you falling behind with your gear progression, which can make the vaults more difficult. If you find yourself in this situation, you can use a Plunderous Pearl. This pearl can be combined with a Vault Crystal in an Anvil to make the vault into a Plunderous Vault, which removes all experience gain but increases the amount of loot and vault ores slightly. Apply a Plunderous Pearl to a Vault Crystal. I do want to go ahead and do that. Um, I just don't remember what the recipe actually is. Oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. But before we do that, as you can see, I have a bunch of Dreamstone, Vault Essence, Vault Diamonds, and Perfect Benyotide in here. And that is because off camera, I went ahead and made 13 Vault Catalysts. And I'm like, you know what? Let's make them. Let's make them and see what we get. Now for that, we need to make a bunch of Mystical Essence. We can make in total 11, which is brilliant. Everything else, we will just return back to their original place which is there, there, and then Dreamstone go in here. Nice. And as it is becoming nighttime, we, please, there we go. Ay ay ay. I'm also going to add a bunch more racks here because that means we can have a lot more. We currently have five catalysts, which we have two in wealthy and three in living. I just want to see what we can potentially get here. Um, so let's see, that's another wealthy. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just put this in here. Ornate. Okay, that's really cool. And another ornate. Let's see what else we get. Extended random negative. Oh, extended is good. Plus one minute vault time. Do we have game sounds? Yeah, okay. I feel like this should say something though, but it's not. Another wealthy. So that wealthy is good for coins. Ornate is obviously ornate chests. Living. We already have four, no, three living chests. So th these are really good if we want to wooden. That's what, oh, so yeah, these are very, very good if we want to like make an architect crystal where we focus on, say, the mushroom room, for example. That means we would be able to put in a bunch of living chest catalysts to that crystal and we would get a lot more living chests. And that's actually a modifier without actually having a random negative. Wow. That is actually not too bad. I'm just going to add all of these in here. We're not going to be using them just yet. However, I have also placed this right here because we might be able to uh, to, to do this. But first, I want to run uh, this plunderous vault. But first, we need to take a look at this. Um, I mean, we just got a bunch. So yeah, I'll actually take that because that's another ornate and seems fairly cheap. And these, we have uh, fine five pottery shards in the vault and kill haunt mobs in the vault as well not too bad also i found out what was wrong with the satchels uh one of you guys uh, put it in the comments in the last video as well so basically these pouches have prioritization so if this is in here uh, which it was uh this pouch right here for scavengers if we put that in here and then i have my other pouches in here i think the way that it works is it first tries to take an item and put it into the pouches in your hotbar. If they don't fit in there, then they go ahead and take it from the left corner here and move down. So if it hits the overflow pouch before it hits this pouch, basically the scavenger items are going to go into here, which I guess does make actually actually does make quite a bit of sense. So I should have the overflow chest or pouch at the very end of this inventory right here. So thank you for that feedback in the comments. That makes a lot more sense. And that means that this actually does work. So 
Yay! Now we're gonna go ahead and craft a plunder pearl and we also need to craft a new crystal now, please. Let it be so that it is not slime and is something fairly easy to do. That breaks diamonds, gunpowder should be doable. Oh yeah, I uh, <laughs> I have plenty of gunpowder, that's for sure. Don't have any bricks though, but I do believe that I have everything else. Oh, that's basalt, not deep slate. Uh, hmm, smooth basalt. Ah, look at that, we already have it, perfect. And uh, that is the final brick right there, and that means the crystal is complete. And this means we can now go into an anvil and do this. So it's unmodifiable. It has plunder. So that means we're going to get zero experience from actually running this vault. But we do get four vault diamonds in return, which is not too bad. Now, the next one is archives. And basically, I need to find the alchemy, uh, an alchemy archive inside a dungeon. However, once that is done, I do get another park, so that is pretty cool. So if we can find a dungeon of this that has an archive, that would not be too bad. Now, I think I have everything. I don't know what type of vault this is going to become. Could become scavenger. If it does, that's great, because that means we can test this pouch. Overflow is at the bottom. I have food. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Let's go. Oh, it is a scavenger vault. We need ripped pages, empty jars, red scrolls, skeleton wishbone. Nice. So in theory now, if I've understood all this correctly, this should now be picking up. I mean, I can have it in my hotbar, which I will probably want anyway. But let's just try it, uh, having it here first to see if that actually works. And then we will try and put it down here to see if it prioritizes the hotbar uh, before that. All right, let's do this. So remember, we're not going to get any experience. We will, of course, still get the scavenger crate. But this is a very interesting room. Very, very interesting room. Uh, right, I'm just gonna go forward. I don't really like these where the the water is like this. Except, yeah, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I like also one reason that I also like the first room to be just left because if you get back and you have a little bit of spare time, then you can actually just go ahead and loot that one room. Um, now this, this I this is my first time in this theme. It is quite interesting indeed. All right, let's get to looting. Hopefully we're going to get all we need. Uh, so did we get anything there? No, we need to get ripped pages. There we go. We got an old book so and the ripped page. So we're going here. Yep, it's now in here. So I'm going to try to keep it in the hotbar and see if it then prioritizes the hotbar over the overflow chest that is right there. And I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to do that. I think, yeah, picked up some black bob essence and that is exactly how it works. I am so happy. Thank you for that feedback. That makes sense. Nice. I'm so happy that it actually works now. Oh, hey, fellas. Please be gone. And we actually have a return thing right here. So I'm just going to do that and just loot all that I possibly can. Oh, we got a pottery shot. That means we are actually also potentially going to get that bounty done. That would be pretty good. Oh, bounty complete. That is the husks done, basically. Or husks. I think it's a drowned before. Basically, just more vault mobs, apparently. So that is not too bad. What on earth? Do these actually have like useful stuff, or is it just random things? I don't know. I am slightly confused. <laughs> All right, we have six ripped pages, so that means I just need empty, empty jars, red scroll, and skeleton wishbone. So if I can get an ore room, that would not be too bad. Let's get these. Ah, oh, poison. Come on. Now, again, dungeon. Dungeon would be amazing. That would be really, really good. I'm getting skeleton rib cages, but no wishbones unfortunately which is very very unfortunate <laughs> i'm getting more of those than i am getting of the other ones that is uh, not ideal well i just apparently walked the wrong way around um okay that <laughs> well okay that you know what i I don't want to see a single comment about this that i accidentally went the other way around because i placed the compass in another room because there's a return thing i don't want to hear it all right just just forget it 
Forget it. Leave a like instead. Yeah. Oh, this is an old room. This is perfect. I can just get rid of the mobs. Hopefully, I can get a skeleton skull. I've gotten a skeleton skull before I've... And more rib cages. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I need the wishbone. Please. And there we go. Finally got one wishbone. If we could get the other one right here, that would be amazing. But it doesn't look like it. But there should be more RPYs though. Yep. So hope is not lost just yet. That was a very good shot, if I do say so myself. That wasn't. <laughs> another skeleton skull. I got another skeleton skull. At this point, I have almost gotten... Actually, I have gotten more... There we go, wishbone. I've almost gotten more skulls than I have gotten the wishbones. Wow. Okay, uh, please get me out of here. This is painful. To be, it's painful to be here. Get get out. <laughs> so that is two of the objectives. Now I need a gilded chest and ornate. Again, a dungeon could help with that as well. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh. Oh. I don't even care about this scavenger objective at this point. <laughs> Wow, um, yeah, if we could get Echo in this, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, I'm afraid of my pickaxe. I'm gonna need a new pickaxe, though, after this, that's for sure. Right, I need to get, like, a bunch of this stuff. Um, not all of it is easily accessible, though, which is annoying. Ooh, never mind, let's punch down here. Right, yeah, this, yeah, pay night, yeah, yeah, definitely want all of this. This is very good. <laughs> this is such a good room. I mean, I could just spend ages in here just mining this entire room down, which I really, really do want to do. But I also really do want to complete the objective. Um, so I'm going to spend like a, a little bit longer in here. Not hopefully uh, getting stuck and whatnot. And then I will move on. Right. If I need to actually go ahead and complete this i will need to go now no echo gems unfortunately but we did get a bunch of our good stuff so that is really really good but i still need gilded and ornate chests oh we got one empty jar can we and two there we go we got the empty jars done we just now need to go ahead and get the red scrolls from gilded chests so that is the primary thing that i am now looking for this is not it, but I mean, I will not say no, no matter what. <laughs> uh, get that. Okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. Yep. Bye. Bye. I'm not finding the stuff that I need. Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect for Gilded Chest. Just need to be really, really careful. Uh, that's one red scroll. Uh, yeah, just need to be extremely careful here. Mainly with the TNT. Mobs shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it's a gilded chest. Uh, like I said, I can really set off a chain effect. Which it definitely did. <laughs> oh no. Creeper, be gone. Please, also you. And you. Okay. Please. Two red scrolls. I think we have it all. I think we have everything. Oh, Creeper Champion. Bye. <laughs> wow, okay, I think we did it. Um, now, I just need to be able to make it back to... That's a Creeper. I'm hearing stuff. I don't like it. I don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. I'm gonna get these. And I'm gonna get out. <laughs> I don't trust it. I really, really don't trust it. Not by a long shot. I think I just want to get out of here now, actually. Uh... The goal is complete. I think we got what we came here for. We didn't find a dungeon, though, unfortunately. That would be kind of nice if we had. I, mean, I suppose we can take a quick peek. I do at least have 16 Kiwis on me. So I guess we can have a little bit of a peek in this room. Just going to make a little bit of an arrow there for myself. Just so I know where to go next. Even though I have the compass, just so I don't get too much lost. <laughs> Uh, not really interested in the loot. I'm interested in a potential dungeon door opening. I would need to beat the dungeon as well, though, so I don't see how I would really be able to make that. But 
You never know. Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get out of here and call it a win before I can't. <laughs> Less than two minutes remaining. Not good. Must go back immediately. Oh dear. This is getting interesting. This is gonna get very interesting. I'm gonna eat a cobble just so that I don't get in a very annoying and sticky situation. And I believe, yeah, I need to be careful not to take fall damage. I need to go down there. Need to go down there. Oh, there's water there. Good. Can't take too much damage because kiwis. Okay. Uh, right. Wish bones. This. Why? Go away. No. Go away. Okay. Uh, that is the red scrolls. This is the wish bones. Need to get the jars as well. This is gonna be close. Actually, no, we're, we're totally fine. <laughs> there we go. Vault completed. Phew. Okay. A little bit scared at the end, but uh, everything turned out to be just fine. Oh, you were just hiding there, weren't you? Hoping to get me in the last second, but nope, you don't win, I do. So again, this we get no experience for, but we do still get this scavenger crate right here. I thought that was a mob, something quite scary. Oh well. Uh, right, time to organize inventory. So this scavenger hunt is now over, so I can go ahead and add everything to this and get a bunch of soul dust in return. And that is correct, I believe we Oh, we didn't complete this. Oh, I forgot to look for the final one then. Oh, well. Right, let's get this as well. We get a soul flame. Not too bad either. So this is the Richardy chest, and we have one relic booster pack and a bunch of different gems. No echo ores, unfortunately, and actually only 42 knowledge essence. Ideally, I could have probably, like, looted a lot more, to be completely honest, but... I did want to complete that scavenger hunt, so yeah, that's why I focused on that. And it looks like at some point I had the overflow chest before these two, so I really need to remember to put it at the end, because it took up a bunch of different things here that I now need to go ahead and sort through, which is uh, always fun, but at least it's just a quick right-click away, and then it is uh, done, and everything else can go where it is supposed to. Finally, we have the jewel and armor uh, pouch here, and we got some jewels. This is pretty decent, 5.4 minus speed. This is really good as well. Well, maybe not really, really good. It, it, it's okay. Uh, we have some unidentified focuses, and we also have a little bit of armor. Oh yeah, I think one of you guys told me that it's possible to just right-click with the pouch onto this thing. Oh wow, I did it. Okay, wow, thank you for that. <laughs> that is really cool. Um, right, focus, actually, plus one level to heal. Ooh. And my extra man, that's actually pretty good. If it was because I am absolutely in love with my shield, so yeah, nah. Um, all this stuff, though, I think mine is better, and yep, so... All of this just needs to go to the smeltery. Bye bye. Of course, we need to open this as well. So, oh, my magnet was on. Okay, well, we got a mod box though, and we've got a mode of clarity, and four vault platinum, and a lot more stuff and jewels. Not too bad. I will take it. Vanilla immortality and wooden affinity. Not too bad. Not too bad. And this chest is full. I did go ahead and organize all of this. So these jewels are stuff that we're saving. I haven't actually gone through those yet. So for now, uh, I'm going to have to put into that one. <laughs> I'm saving these mod boxes for when we unlock a mod where we can actually go ahead and use them before we go ahead and do a bunch of crafting. Because using them now, there wouldn't really be much of a point to that. Uh, let's go and see here. Plus 10 health. That's. I think, I think these are upgrade, uh, yeah, this is, um, better armor, first of all, a lot more health, my current boots don't even have health, um, and we can add a suffix, what are these, yeah, that's, that's no, um, right, hold on, remove random, mod add a new random modifier, so I suppose that this is it, healing efficiency, yes, 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 yep, 
we got an upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to put Feather Falling and... I don't know if I'm going to put Unbreaking on them. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to enchant the, these Feather Falling. Boom. There we go. Nice. Everything else though, Vault Axe, meh, one, don't use them. Chest plate, uh, not as good. Wait, mana? Actually, the mana is pretty decent and the extra durability. We can reroll the pre. I think that's a better chest plate actually, if we go ahead and work a little bit with that. This, definitely not. Shield, uh, nope, not as good either. But that chest plate though, actually could be worked on a little bit and then it's not going to be too bad. Now this is pretty good. So we get 30 mana. So that's more mana, the same amount of armor. We have still increased attack damage. The health could be rolled higher though. It really could. I definitely do want the health. Um, ooh, but well, then the prefix there is that, but the mana regen. The mana regen is good. Mana regen is good. Not good enough though. I want arm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll 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 use that. <laughs> it's a little bit less health though. I'm not super happy with it, but yeah, mm, I'm actually in doubt. I um I'll take it. But I'm going to reroll the prefixes again. <laughs> Ooh. Uh mm. okay. Yep. That is pretty good. 6 health and 14% increased damage that I will go ahead and take. And it looks quite fancy as well. Look at that. And we have now not 10 hearts, not 20, 20 and a half. Now I actually completely forgot I made this crystal. But before we run that, I want to take a look at this. Because we do have three inscriptions right here, each giving almost a minute of time and each giving just about 5%. And I think we can actually complete this if the crystal doesn't break in this process. So if we add this here, uh, the other way around, there we go. So that is going to increase the time and also the percentage of the completion is 90%. Instability is 31%. So this will put it up to 96%. Please don't break. Yep, we're good. And then with this, it'll be 100% and 15 minutes. That will give us an x mark room, a factory room, and the Wild West. Wild West is gilded, and x mark is ornate. I think it can be the other chest as well, so that could be anything. Um, and then the uh, factory, which I don't remember. I think it's just a bunch of blocks and ores as well. Not too bad. Now, if I want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and use the mode of clarity, that means that it will reveal to us the cursor. So we get extra hunger, uh, slowed mining fatigue and weaken. That is not too bad, though. I feel like I could deal with that. So instead of running this crystal right here, which is just crafted because I've uh, kind of forgot about this, we're actually going to go ahead and run this. It's going to be um, dangerous, scary, but it's going to be worth it, I think. So here we go our very very first architect crystal um you know what i'm actually going to put a repair core on this before going in because if it breaks in there i'll just like start crying or something and we can't have that so <laughs> do that i think i have everything else that i need on me uh as long as i grab with me this shulker box because that has some puzzle pieces which we won't need but it does have sweet kiwis now we have 15 minutes to do this and we're going in. This is uh, scary. Right, slowed mining fatigue, hunger, etc. Not ideal. I should have definitely brought more food with me. But this is our first architect vault. And that is an Xbox room right there. All right, let's waste no time. Um, and I have figured out a way to actually do these Xbox room pretty well. Um, which I will share with you in a moment. So that is the way we need to go. But... Oh, the mining fatigue, though, is actually pretty bad. I didn't think it would be this bad. I didn't actually think it would be this bad. Oh, dear. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and add blocks like this and then do that. Because now, if it's a bad one, they will drop down there. You just need to be able to tank a few uh, hits anyway. But that is not necessary for us. Oh, that's so slow. That is actually so, so slow. Hold on. This is actually going to be faster, I think. 
maybe. I don't know if doing it the good old fashioned way is faster. I don't think it is. It might be though. Oh, that is painfully slow. That is so slow. <laughs> I didn't think that that would be making it that slow. Wow. Um, okay. Oh, that's crap. That's not good. Okay. Um, it's fine. You know what? It's all going to be perfectly fine, especially when we can vein mine them. That's going to be like he please go away. I'm weakened as well, which is not good. Um, yeah, I really, I really want to be able to loot this entire vault, which if I spend on average five minutes per room, then that should be fine. And I mean, so far I've looted half of this and only spent like one minute and 30 seconds. So I think we'll be fine. Now, see, this is a really cool thing about architect's vaults. If I had only given it, for example, the mushroom room that has living chests, I could put, put on a bunch of catalysts, right? That is increasing the spawn of living chests. And if I had done that, then I could get a bunch of living chests. So the way that I actually did this architect vault is not ideal. So I definitely want to start working on another one very, very soon where we do that instead and do it properly this time. But since we have this one, we are going to get as much out of it as we possibly can. And with that, I think that that is everything. So we can break this now and bridge up a little bit and then yeet out of here. Okay. Um, so that is the way back. The compass has spoken. And so this is the factory room, which I'm going to skip by a little bit. First, I want to go to the other room first, and then we'll get back to this one. I don't know why I made the factory room, honestly. <laughs> now this is the scary room that we have to be actually careful of. And there's a guy with a crossbow that is not ideal. Yeah, this room is going to take a little bit more work. <laughs> no. Um, issue with opening these is they could be trapped, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm just gonna have to take my time with it. Literally. And really hope that these don't blow up in front of me. Uh, right, I just have to be super careful here. <laughs> uh, this is nerve wracking standing this close to it. I haven't died in this series either yet, so. Yeah. Man, this is nerve wracking. Really, really nerve wracking. Standing here in the TNT is so bad if a creeper comes around or if I misclick or something. Let's check my surroundings. I think I'm good. There's a creeper there. Get rid of him. And definitely get rid of the crossbow guy. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to dare venture into one of these buildings. I don't think I can get myself to do it. <laughs> I really don't think I can. I just want to get this stuff and get out of here. Man, it's nerve wracking. Almost holding my breath. Being around this much TNT. I mean, I could venture in here, but I think that can also be traps. Um, but I do want to maximize the output of this. Oh, this no, that's that's a death trap waiting to happen. Come on, give me something. Just... Actually, was wow, wow. Hi. Everyone, that was, um, this is really not worth it, I don't feel. <laughs> uh, hello, okay, goodbye. Uh, nope, that's, this is not good. I don't know if I've gotten everything in here. I'm pretty sure I will not have, but I mean... I think this is good enough, right? I mean, there's a couple more chests which I really, really should be getting because I'm here. Might as well need to maximize the output of this. Ooh, that was satisfying though. Okay, now point towards the ground, not towards the TNT. Get that really good. Not bad. Okay. You know what? I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Um, 
Yep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't want the first architect vault that I do to be a fail. Okay. That I do not want. Now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go ahead and get all these like condensed. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to try and get all these condensed blocks because they really, really do do a lot for you. So I'm going to get all these that I can. Wow. This is taking a while, though. Um, anytime now. Final stage. There we go. Nice. I'm going to get these and then that is pretty much that for this vault. Oh, that's a big slime. Hello. Okay, whatever is in here, I hope is really, really valuable. That's absolutely nothing. <laughs> that's actually, actually nothing. All right. I think that is that. Not too much in this room, so this room wasn't super significant, but... That is basically all the rooms done. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been our first architect vault. We are definitely going to be running one again very soon because I want to do one with the different catalysts and whatnot. Because again, this one wasn't really done that uh, correctly, if you uh, can put it that way. Now, we have we actually did get some decent stuff. Let's take a look here. We got a couple of focuses there. We got our repair core there back, so that's cool. Some blank runes. Uh, some... Okay, that was already in there before. Maybe it's... One of these is going to... Oh! We actually got that. Okay, nice. We got some gear here. Some jewels. Coin affinity and reach. I like that. I will need to make a new tool fairly soon. Especially when we reach level 35. Which will happen in the next episode, most likely. Um, because, yeah, we're really, really close. And the next tier of tools is... If I could find the proper station for it, that would be great. Hello. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's unlocked at level 35, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I need to do that. And dragon chest. That is from the dragon relic set. Oh, of which we only have one. Yeah, we're, we're not close to getting uh, any relics anytime soon. And just going through this, and none of it is actually useful for us. So we're just going to go ahead and smelt it all down. Bye-bye. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode. In the, next one, in the next episode, I want to make maybe another Architect of the Seal and get started on that. Then I also, again, I really want to get another uh, dungeon so we can actually get this. Maybe we can reach level 40 if we just keep running a ton of vaults. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely is still plenty of stuff to come. And uh, we do have a knowledge star. And the more we can get, the closer we can get to unlocking our next mod, which is really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss so you don't miss the next one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.